Hello, welcome to Jens. This is Brian Reindel. I'm your great educator mindset coach. I'm actually a literacy coach living in Green and working in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And you may be wondering why today I am in my gym workout clothes. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. But let me tell you, um, this is the start of a short series about where I'm trying to link up what effective classrooms are uh, do and are like with what successful people. So successful classrooms, successful people in life. That is what I'm going to try to link up in these next few videos. And this first video I want to share with you, um, all of these successful practices for classrooms come from the book Classrooms at Work from Richard Allington and Patricia Cunningham. And it's on its sixth edition. And what they've done is they've looked at what, what were teachers doing in the most effective classrooms across the country. And one of the first things they found in their research was that um, students in effective classrooms do a lot of reading and writing. No big surprise there. We've known this for a long time that there's a correlation between the amount of writing and reading that kids do and the levels of success that they attain. Now, they're not talking about worksheets and the reading and writing on worksheets. They're talking about continuous text, reading and writing continuous text. And it, across the day, whether it be science, social studies, math, reading, writing, um, all of the areas, they're reading and writing throughout the day. Now, what about successful people? I have my, my frame of what successful people do and what unsuccessful people do that I keep at my desk in my studio here. One of the things that um, successful people do are, guess what? Read every day in order to learn and write or journal every day. So there's the link. So I'm going to share with you how to have a great educator mindset or a great mindset. Um, now you know why I am in my um, gym workout clothes because I get up in the morning. It's what, 4.15 right now in the morning and I read every morning some book that will help me um, grow in my personal self, expand my personal life and get better every day. So I start my morning every day with reading and with journaling. I have my journal, my Kindle right here, my tablet, and I have my journal. And um, those are the things I do first thing in the morning. So let's see, what do your kids do first thing when they come in the classroom? Do you set up a discipline that um, the kids are reading or writing first thing when they when they walk into the classroom? Do you set up that atmosphere? And do you set up that atmosphere for yourself? Now, it's simple. Reading, writing, simple. Is it easy? No. It's going to take a great deal of discipline. It's going to take discipline and commitment to get up every morning, no matter what. Take time for yourself to do some reading. It might only be um, a paragraph or two, but the discipline comes in that you have to journal how you're going to apply that in your life, in your day, that day. And that's what helps sets up your mindset. So discipline is required. You know, there isn't really any successful person out there that doesn't have a discipline or a habit that they do every day to work on for themselves, to grow themselves, to learn and grow. So, um, right now, um, one of the books that I've read that got me going was Awaken the Giant Within from Tony Robbins. That's just an example of the kind of book you might read. I will post with this video a list of books that, that you might get you started, books I've read in the past six, eight months that um, have really made an impact on my life. So you can check that out. Um, when you're reading, don't forget thinking about how you're going to apply it to your own life. And after a few weeks, you'll become so grounded that this becomes a personal habit of yours that um, it's no longer the kind of hard work that it is in the very beginning. Get up, set your alarm, splash water on your face, change your state, and get to work, right to work. Um, and now it's become so much a part of my life, even when I'm on vacation. I, I set my alarm early, and, and my wife, in the end, stays, might still be sleeping. I get up, I might go to the lobby and, and sit and read, and um, a lobby of a hotel, sit and read and do my journaling. So finally, share your practice with your students. Why not let them in on this secret, on this discipline? Show them your journal, show them the books you're, you're reading that um, you can show them what it's like to have that discipline and have that time for personal growth every single day. 
So, if you find these videos helpful and you think someone in your life might enjoy uh, seeing and watching these, be sure to share. Also, use the comments section with YouTube and uh, leave any comments that you have. And I want to leave you with this final thought, like I always do. Make it a gem of a day. Make your day sparkle like a gem by having a great educator mindset. I'm going to get to my iced coffee. You have a great day. Take care.